saying goodbye one more time. Okay, everyone say goodbye. We're tired, huh? Say aloha. See you at home. So apparently we're a little paranoid. <laughs> so we get to the airport really early. We're only an hour and a half early, but we are the only ones. Are the only ones here? So apparently we're still on Hawaiian time. So <laughs> we're here. We're checked in, and we're ready to go home. We're not ready to go home, but we have to go home. I'm ready. You're ready. You want to see your friend? Friends. Chelsea needs to get to a doctor, too. Yeah. Did we come to Maui? Yep. Are we, are we staying here? No, we're going home, huh? No. Darn it. Palm trees, one more time. Good morning, ladies and gentlemen. Happy Hawaii Airlines and its coach ship. Are you guys doing the rest of the world? enthusiastic about being in Portland. Where's the trash can? We still have a three hour drive to go, right Jace? Are you awake enough? Yeah. Uh, yeah, we're full. Can? Yep. Exit, right? Alright, made it home so far, so good. Anytime we fly with Hawaiian, we don't have any problems. I'm going to try and book with Hawaiian anytime, so. Uh, we'll see. Where's the trash you took the one ticket, so. If I don't see you later, Hello. take care guys. Bye. All right, so we got back from traveling last night at like midnight, and Chelsea was in a ton of pain. So I gave her some Benadryl, put her to bed, and she woke up probably at four in the morning, and then again at seven in the morning, just in excruciating pain. So I went ahead and took her to urgent care, 
she has not an inner ear infection, but she does have swimmer's ear, which is what I suspected. She's gonna be on some steroids, um, some ear drops. So I'm waiting to get the prescription and she's gonna stay home from school. You have reached the customer service line in voicemail. Thank you. Hi, my name is Dana Brown. I'm calling about my daughter Chelsea's prescription. It's getting transferred from Walgreens. And I just needed to make sure that that was going to happen. If you can give me a call, thank you. I just thought I would take you along for the day today. I'm exhausted. I mean, I got seven hours of sleep, I will say that, but it's just a long day of travel, and then I had to just start right back into, well, not that I wasn't a mom on vacation, but it's like, I had to be in mom mode, like, right off the bat. It's only been three hours since we got up, but I've already been, like I said, to the urgent care, We've been to the pharmacy twice and to the grocery store to get just the basics, milk, bread, um, fruit, and vegetables so that they could have a lunch today for school. And I got home just in time to send Ashley to the bus stop and Jason's off at work and he forgot his work keys so we had to go to our employee's house to get them. It's just been a rough morning. Then I ate breakfast and kind of got the house cleaned up, unpacked another bag, and I get a call from my Abby. She left her entire school binder at home. I'm taking Abby's binder to her at her school, and then I'm gonna run to Costco. So tired, you guys. Willing to wait for a parking spot at Costco and keep the ladies' cart. Let's get groceries. All right, you guys. I've had quite the day. It is almost three o'clock. I'm just getting home. They just got their birthday cards from their Aunt Katie. And they're very excited. And we got $10. And they got money. And I got a dog one. Okay, okay, stop doing this. Mom doesn't have the energy for that now. So Chelsea just got her medication. I'm gonna go through all of this because my I've had quite the time trying to get this medicine. And then it looks like we have some eardrops. I need to read the instructions on um, to get this little girl feeling better. Four drops in your right ear four times a day. And then you have to lay down and let it sit in your ear for five minutes, okay? Mm -hmm. So we're gonna go do the eardrops and then I'm gonna fill you in with everything that I have been mm -hmm. doing today and why I'm uh, not, I'm not hot. I'm just a mess. I'm tired, I'm exhausted. And I will fill you in in just a second. I don't even know where to start with this day. So let's just start at the beginning. I think I'm gonna have to kind of backtrack because I don't remember how much I filmed of this today. We started out in the morning at seven o'clock this morning. Took Chelsea to urgent care. She has some ear, so she needed to get a steroid and some ear drops. As soon as I got her done at urgent care, we ran to Fred Meyer at a grocery store and got some groceries, just enough to make lunches and eat breakfast. Then we rushed to the pharmacy to get her prescription filled. They couldn't fill it there because my insurance didn't get, wouldn't cover it there. So they transferred it to another pharmacy and I needed to pick that up later in the day. Rushed home, got Ashley on the bus. We're only talking like 8.30 in the morning, folks. Got all this by 8.30. Came home, got Ashley on the bus, got my other two on the bus, because they're have late start on Wednesdays. And then ate a bowl of cereal, grabbed a breakfast drink, and then I ran to Costco. So I caught Costco stuff. We had to fill up on everything. Like we we're out of everything after being on vacation for that long. So I stocked up on stuff at Costco, came home, unloaded that. Then I went to Verizon. I went to fix Kaylee's phone because it went kibbutz while we were in Hawaii. I don't know if we mentioned that. So we went to fix her phone and it's completely dead. The battery got fried in the sun. They said that overheated and so it's done. So we had to order a new one. Luckily we had insurance on our account. So they ordered a new one and it's coming on Friday. So 
I had to break that news to her when she gets home. And then I came home, checked on Chelsea. She hasn't, she stayed home from school today. So I have been running these errands every hour on the hour and checking in with her. And I have neighbors that have checked in with her and my father-in-law um, checked in with her. So she's been fine here at home. She has people right here. At one point, I went to Target to fill, fill the prescription and they did not have the steroid that she needed. So they had to transfer that prescription to a pharmacy a whole city over, like 25 minutes away. And at that point in my day, I that would put me way too far away from Chelsea and she would not want to get in the car with me. Like her ear hurts her so bad. We had to give her Benadryl in the car last night in order to be able to drive home from the airport. So I knew she wasn't gonna be willing to go in the car with me. So I called my father-in-law. He went and got that prescription for her, got her some little medicine and ice cream for her and brought it over and hung out with her for a little bit. So then he kind of watched her. Then I went out and helped another friend of mine cause she was in need and I just got home. And I just, I'm tired. I just got Chelsea the eye eardrops. I'll show you her on the couch um, here in a second. She's miserable. I literally will touch on, and I look like a hot mess. Like I haven't even showered from traveling. Like I'm not dirty, my hair is clean, you know, but I just haven't even showered and gotten ready for the day. But Chelsea's laying on the couch because she's got eardrops in and they need to like, you know, they need to soak into her ear canal, but her ear is so swollen that they won't go into, her, they won't soak in. And so she's literally got like a puddle of the eardrops in her ear and I will literally go like this on her ear and she is crying. It hurts her so bad. So she's stuck on the couch, her friends have come over, they want her to play, they're excited to have her home, and she can't leave the couch until that soaks into her ear. She's miserable, She's it hurts. I just wanted to take some ibuprofen and I made the mistake of not giving it to her before I sat down to do the eardrops, not realizing that she wouldn't then be able to sit up to take the medicine. So now she's stuck without pain medicine for a little while. So I feel bad for her. She's had it really rough in the past couple days. Um, I don't think she's gonna wanna be on camera aside from me showing her leg on the couch. Ashley just went to play with the friends that came over to see Chelsea um, so that Chelsea can kinda have it quiet cause kinda sound hurts as well. So she's just watching a quiet show. But I'm exhausted. I'm like, I'm running on like fumes. I know Jason's struggling at work. He's tired and he has so much work to do to get caught up after vacation. Um, I'm gonna show you here in a second. I'll show you what I've have packed or I'll show you here in a second what I've unpacked I'm kind of OCD when I pack and I'm OCD when I unpack when, you know when I pack things up to come back home I want to make it as easy as possible to unpack anyway I'll show you what I've done so I have a few things left to unpack I'm gonna take a shower because I have an activity to go to tonight it's just it's it's hard to travel and it's hard to come home from travel and that's why I kind of included this in our travel day video because um, it's hard to recoup and <laughs> I'm not gonna lie the rain today it's just depressing to be back in <laughs> Seattle and not in Hawaii but you guys all know if you've been watching we're gonna go again so if you have any tips on how to go to Maui or how to go to the Big Island or where to go in those two places go over to my Instagram and leave a comment on any of my Hawaii videos and I'll know what you're talking about. About tips of where to go on those two islands that are affordable. Because we've got, we've got to get a place that can fit all six of us. And I want a kitchen, I want at least two bedrooms, and then um, I want to be on the beach. I mean, go big or go home, right? So I gotta start planning now in order to have enough money to be able to go next year. I, we gotta go back. But I want to do something different. I want to do a different different island and go somewhere different. So anyway, I'll take you on a little bit more of our day. I might call it quits just because we are all exhausted and we're all going to go to bed early tonight. The kids are at least. And then I have an activity to go to. So I might only film a little bit more today. But I appreciate you guys following along. You know, we met our first viewer. If you haven't watched that video yet, go and watch it. Because it's so fun to meet you guys and I'm still thinking about it and how fun it was. So if I don't see you again, if I kind of just fade out the day, just know that I'm thinking of all you guys that I have met here and I hope you stick around and watch more. All right, poor Chelsea. She's kind of stuck propped up here. You can kind of see her ear is pretty red, but I had to kind of tug at it. Yeah, she won't let me get near it, but it's kind of got a 
pool of, you can see the liquid in there. It won't soak into her ear. So I keep having to kind of prop up the pillows to get her ear in the right position for it to soak in. It's gonna let you rest, okay kiddo? All right, so I've got two bags empty. Like there's nothing in these. They're totally empty, ready to put away. And I have no laundry. I'm so excited. I don't know why, but the, the kids thought we were out of oatmeal, so they got the oatmeal out. My purse is still a travel purse. If you thought it was dirty before we went on vacation when I cleaned it out, like that's a whole different I'm going to save that for a different day because that is, this thing probably weighs like 20 pounds. You know, like when Mary Poppins pulls things out of her purse. I mean, let's just do one. Let's just see. What are we going to find in here? We've got chapstick, straws. There's my wallet. Let's see if we can find something interesting in here. Oh, a whole bottle of Benadryl. You know, tissues, charging cords. None of this belongs in here. That is her prescription. Got Kaylee's phone that just got fixed, but we've got to wait for the new one to come. And sunglasses. I mean, this is like Pandora's box. There's chapstick number one. Oh, look, I stole this. That's so cute. It's a piece of coral. I know I shouldn't have taken it. Let's not talk about it. In the shape of a heart. Anyway, none of this except for my wallet and the sunglasses belongs in my purse. So. Oh, there's an Aloha snack. I'm probably gonna take that to my activity tonight. A pair of socks. This is a medicine cup. I might as well just clean out my purse. We're here, we're doing it. That is a medicine cup that I needed to give Chelsea the Benadryl in on the plane in order to knock her out because the air pressure from the plane was too much. She couldn't handle it, so we just had to knock her out. Another chapstick ball. Anyway, it's just, I mean, it's, that's one pocket. That's just one pocket, you guys. None of that belongs in my purse except for the wallet and my glasses. It's ridiculous. Okay, so now we're in my garage. Ignore the mess in the garage. So now I've got the bag of swim stuff. All the swimsuits are in here, completely washed. I washed them in the, in the hotel, so they're all ready to get put away. Same with the towels. I am all set to put that away in my storage bag. We made sure all of our Fins are dried out and ready to store away for next year. And then this is my little, you know, picnic bag or whatever. And then I'm letting these guys, I'm going to get them out, our little snorkel masks. They need to get aired out a little bit more. We used those the day before we came home. And I don't think that they completely aired out. So I'm going to let them dry completely before I pack them away. But all of this stuff and something else was all in one suitcase. So I can easily just set this all outside and that whole suitcase was completely unpacked. So all of that snorkel gear, all the swim stuff was in this bag right here. I think it also had sunscreen and stuff. So all of that was super easy to unpack. And that's how I pack to come home so I can compartmentalize and get rid of stuff and put it away really, really quick. All right, I'm yawning like crazy. <laughs> anyway, I'm so tired. But let me show you. The, this is all that I've got left to unpack. Let me just show you. So ignore the messy bed. It was a rough morning. So I've got my bag here. This is my cube that I had all my clothes in it. So I just need to hang all this stuff. I probably will only wash my pajama shirt because I don't think that got washed while we were there. I think I need to put one more swimsuit downstairs. Underwear, socks. That kind of stuff is in there. So that's what I've got for my stuff. And then, oh, there's where the sunscreen is. Then we have this bag right here. And Jason's unpacked his cube, one of his cubes. And that's it. That's all I've got to unpack. I did not do a souvenir video, because I didn't find very much. Um, I will show you really quick what I got for myself. I got this cute bag. You probably saw me in a lot of the videos using this bag. It was so helpful. So maybe sometime I'll show you what I'm able to put in it. But it's this giant, kind of a strappy bag. It's kind of boho style, I guess. But it was so handy. There's actually three compartments inside. And then there's two pockets on the outside. It was super handy to have. I got that for like $20, $20 I think. And then I got this cute 
pillowcase cover. I have two more like it. I have one with a pineapple on it and one with a flower on it. They're on my couch downstairs during the spring and the summer, but I actually thought that this one, when my bed is made, <laughs> Look how cute this is going to be, you guys. Look at the blues. I, this is the first time I've seen it. Look how cute that's going to be. Put some blue and then some yellow. Oh, how cute is that? Look how pretty that's going to be next to it. So I think I'll do like a beachy theme in here during the summer. I might have to get a different kind of pillow to kind of add to it. But that's so fun, huh? So those are two of my big souvenirs. I don't like do anything big and extravagant, but these quilted pillowcases are like $35 a piece. And I don't ever spend that kind of money here at home on a home decoration item. But knowing I got it from the same shop in Hawaii that I've gotten all the other ones makes it special. So kind of like that. So I'm going to go get ready and really <laughs> I wouldn't worry about getting ready at this time of day, especially after such a long day and all the travel that we've been doing, but I have an activity tonight to go to and still need to function enough to get the kids dinner and in bed on time. So I'm going to get myself showered and taken care of so that I can give my energy to them later on tonight. So that's what I'm going to go do, but you can't come for that part. <laughs> okay. So it doesn't look like I did anything, but I did shower. Um, so you can see my sunburn. And then I shaved my face so I can get some of that dry skin off. Um, I'm not worried about being super fancy for this activity tonight, but I um, actually fell asleep at like 5.45 <laughs> on my bed. She had her five o'clock meltdown. She's in kindergarten, it's a thing. And then I got her calmed down and we read a book for the night. She had her electronics taken away. So that was part of her meltdown, part of her consequences too. So she's asleep. I have to leave here in 10 minutes. <laughs> I also have kids that are having a hard time adjusting back to life. <laughs> we'll just put it that way. They're tired, so I'm mildly worried. So I'm just gonna end this video now. Getting back to our routine is hard, but having a routine is so important. So I'm hoping tomorrow is a new day and I'm gonna get back on track and be back to my normal life. So anyway, you guys, thank you for watching. Take care and come back for more. Bye-bye.